Nirvana. Come here, kitty. Come here. I am trying to call my cat Nirvana. Look it up here. She knows her name and she often comes when she's called just like that. And I didn't name her, my older daughter did, but um, she is part of my family. And as we come together for our little midweek message today, I was thinking about the importance of names. And I'd like to share with you this scripture from Isaiah chapter 43. You've heard this before. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I had thought of this scripture and thought about my cat Nirvana because she is mine, and I call her by name. And I think one of the beautiful, amazing things about God is that, you know, God holds the whole world in God's hands. And Nirvana and I, and you and I, are such a tiny, tiny part of this world. We share this planet with billions of people and other animals and so many forms of life. And we're such a tiny part of that, yet we are an important part of that. God knows us and calls us by name. And I thought something that would be good to share with you today is that every Tuesday morning when the staff and I meet, whether we meet by Zoom or in person, we begin our meeting with reviewing the prayer list and reviewing each name. And we open up by praying for each person on the prayer list and for one another. And I'd like to include you today in praying for all the folks on our prayer list by name. And if you would ever like to be on our prayer list, just let me know. It is our privilege to pray for you and with you. Let us pray. Dear God, we give you joyful thanks for Gavin Kirsting, grandson of Kevin and Randy Kirsting, released from the hospital NICU. We give thanks that Songi has safely returned to South Korea and that she has a wonderful new opportunity there. We give thanks for her ministry with us these past five years. We give thanks for the opportunity to show just a little bit of appreciation to the staff at Stormont Vale as we delivered pizza to the ER last week. We give thanks for the ministry of our deacons and Stephen ministers and our Blessing Box ministry. Lord, today we lift up Jim and Shirley Martin's daughter and her family. We lift up Jim and Jane Owen's niece's husband, Ann Mumford, mother of Joe Mumford, Jean Fisher, Cherry Weiss, mother of Suzanne Mumford, Jack and Polly Collins, Marilyn Miller, John Gooden, Carolyn Fitzgerald, Mary Patterson, Paul Dameron, Jim Hoover, Al and Janet Metz, Tyler Lockett, Ed Lakin, Mark Mueller, Sue Bjorkback, mother of Linda Nance, Katie Hennessy and her family, the residents of Jackson Towers, those who have been infected with the coronavirus, healthcare workers on the front lines treating those infected with the virus, and we pray for all affected by school closings. Lord, we lift up each of these people by name, and we add the names of those nearest and dearest to us in our own hearts right now. We give thanks that you are the God who knows us and calls us by name and that you are the God 
who carries the whole world in the palm of your hands. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you Sunday.